The electric vehicle aircraft, or EVA space, is growing at a breakneck pace. More and more companies are throwing their hat in the ring to grab a piece of the estimated $1.5 trillion space by 2040. These aircraft range from short distance taxis to personal flying vehicles. Hey, what's up guys, Nick DiMatteo here, and today we present to you the top 10 electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or otherwise known as eVTOLs, who are the closest to production. Number 10. The Bartini by Bartini Incorporated. Founded in 2015 in Moscow, Russia, Bartini unveiled its eVTOL concept in July 2017. The company is named for the Bartini effect. The Bartini is designed as both a two-seater and four-seater. It can be powered by lithium batteries and or by hydrogen fuel cells. With its all-electric option, it can go 93 miles but with its hydrogen fuel cells added on it, it can go up to 310 miles. It can travel at speeds of up to 186 miles per hour. Operation is designed in two modes, manual and autonomous, with the ultimate goal of making the vehicle fully autonomous. The sedan-sized quadcopter has a flying wing to help it with lift during flight. There are four ducted thrusters that tilt shift for cruise mode. Each thruster has two coaxial variable pitch props. The concept has been patented and proven on several computer fluid dynamic studies, scaled functional prototypes, and flight testing. The company began building and testing an unmanned 50% prototype in October 2018 to prove that the rotating ducted thrusters in conjunction with the aircraft's aerodynamic shaping reduces power consumption in cruise. Bartini engineers, advisors, and staff are from the top global civil aircraft design companies and air traffic strategy consultancies. A team of more than 40 people include specialists in aeronautics, aviation engineering, airspace integration, manufacturing, and urban planning. The company is also in collaboration with Ital Design for industrial design and manufacturing. They want to sell this aircraft to both individuals and companies. Number 9. The Cavorite X5 Hybrid by Horizon Aircraft Horizon Aircraft was founded in 2013 by founder Brian Robinson and his son and CEO, Brandon Robinson, in Ontario, Canada. After dipping their toe in the water with the Horizon X3, a hybrid electric seaplane, they wanted to make a useful aircraft which could do the work of a helicopter but could be faster, more efficient, and safer. On February 18, 2021, Horizon Aircraft announced it has entered into a binding agreement to be acquired by Astro Aerospace. The aircraft's name was taken directly from the 1901 H.G. Wells book, The First Men in the Moon. Cavorite was the name of a fictional metal that would cancel the effects of gravity and make a spaceship fly. The Cavorite X-5 is a sleek, modern-designed five-passenger aircraft with a cruise speed of 215 miles per hour and has a range of 310 miles. The aircraft is powered by a Corvette gas engine, which makes the power for its electric motors, for vertical takeoff and landing, as well as forward flight. For VTOL flight, each wing splits open in two sections to reveal ducted fans. For forward flight, the wings close over the fans and then a pusher propeller is used. The aircraft has a forward sliding canopy for the pilot, gull wing doors for the passengers, and has tricycle retractable wheeled landing gear. There are 16 ducted fans for the entire aircraft, 12 on the rear wings and four on the front canard wings. First, they would like to sell their hybrid electric VTOL aircraft as an experimental amateur built aircraft in the North American market by 2024. Then the company will go on to producing a fully made production aircraft. The company sees the Cavorite X-5 aircraft being used for air taxi service, emergency medical service, disaster relief, and air cargo transportation. Number 8. The ASCA Concept 3.0 by New Future Transportation Inc. NFT was founded in 2018 by Maki and Guy Kaplinsky. They've come a long way in three years starting with their Concept Design 1.0 to their Prototype 2.0 in 2020 and now to their current design, the ASCA 3.0. For reference, ASCA means flying bird in Japanese. 
Aska is a hybrid vertical takeoff and landing vehicle with both drive and fly capabilities, providing door-to-door -door safe autonomous transport for daily commuters. The company will eventually transition the aircraft to be all electric when battery technology has enough energy density to fly long distances and is completely safe to use for air travel. The four-seater Aska enables people to fly up to 250 miles with a battery range extender. This makes commuting from outside of a major city to an urban area in less than one hour seem like child's play. It can fly at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. People can board the Aska at their home, on the street, or in a parking lot and drive it like a regular car. It's the size of a large SUV in drive mode and can be parked in existing parking spaces or garages and even charge using existing EV charging stations. To easily transition to flight mode, Aska lifts off vertically from a designated vertipad launch space. There is no need to travel to a special air terminal or wait in line with the other travelers. As long as the wings open, Aska transitions to smooth flight programmed to the driver's destination. Flying the vehicle will be made simple through semi-autonomous technologies, although pilot training will still be needed to operate Aska in the air. Aska's full-scale prototype and flight demonstrations will be taking place just around the corner in 2022. The company is part of NASA's Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign, along with Boeing, Bell, and others. Aska is the only consumer-oriented company in this group. You'll need to put down a $5,000 deposit to reserve your very own ASCA. This deposit is held in an escrow account and is fully refundable. The limited edition signature models will cost a cool $789,000. Number seven, EVE by EVE Urban Air Mobility Solutions. Founded in 2017 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and run by CEO Andre Stein, EVE Urban Air Mobility Solutions unveil its newest EV tall concept, EVE. EVE offers a zero emission, low noise, and community friendly electric vertical aircraft based on a simple and intuitive human centric design. EVE is flown by a pilot with a four passenger capacity. It uses eight electric propellers on canard wings for vertical flight and one to two ducted propellers for forward flight. EVE flies with a fifth-generation fly-by-wire system. The company partnered with Uber in 2018. No concrete details were revealed about their specs, but all Uber partnerships require a minimum range of at least 60 miles and speeds of at least 150 miles per hour. A huge bonus will be their ability to swap batteries in about five minutes. Their goal is to make the aircraft fully autonomous. Behind their eVTOL project, EVE is taking a holistic approach to progressing the urban air mobility ecosystem with a comprehensive global services and supply network and a unique urban air traffic management project. The UATM is a system that will use strategically designed airspace structures and procedures to ensure urban flights remain safe and efficient while minimizing the impact on air traffic management. EVE's focus will be to use this aircraft as a taxi urban air mobility service. Number six, Doroni H1 by Doroni. Founder and CEO Doron Merdinger started the Doroni company back in 2016. He believes the future in electric flight technology is finally here to make traveling clean and wheelless. Right from the start, Merdinger wants his EV tall aircraft to be available for purchase by consumers, businesses, and governments as he believes everyone should be able to buy one. The H1 is a two-passenger EV tall aircraft with a maximum payload of 400 pounds. It will be piloted manually or flown remotely and in the future will fly autonomously. For now, the pilot will only need a simple piloting certification which requires a driver's license and a student pilot certificate for light sport aircraft. The aircraft has fly-by-wire control systems. The H1 has a cruising speed of 100 miles per hour with a range of 60 miles and a full flight time of 40 minutes. The Doroni H1 is small enough to fit into a two-car garage and can even be towed on a trailer. It has been patented and is a modified Doroni X8 aircraft. The two most important goals for the company are passenger safety and durability. Doroni has estimated they will be test flying the full-scale H1 aircraft in 2024. 
The company will also be taking orders for the H1E VTOL in 2024. The target market for their aircraft are first responders, utility companies, the agriculture industry, and specialized areas of flying such as tourism. The aircraft can also be used for air cargo. Doroni is insistent on making sure their aircraft is affordably priced, as their manufacturer's suggested retail price is in the range of $135,000 to $150,000. Number 5. The Formula 2 by Hover Originally HoverServe, Hover is headquartered in Moscow, Russia, and was founded in January 2014 by inventor, tech entrepreneur, and businessman Alexander Adamanov. The Formula 2 eVTOL is a two-passenger aircraft. It has a maximum speed of 155 miles per hour and a maximum range of 186 miles. Maximum flight time is estimated at just over one hour and has 16 EDFs for VTOL flight, has two EDFs for forward flight, and a canopy providing excellent views from the cockpit. The Formula 2 is based on their Scorpion 3, an ultra-light eVTOL hover bike. Hover cites the advantages of their new eVTOL aircraft as convenience, safety, and speed. Formula 2 will have the ability to land in a normal parking space. Their patented Venturi engine allows them to eliminate typical airplane propellers and create a quiet aircraft. The aircraft is not a helicopter nor an airplane, but combines the best of both designs. The goal is for Hover to use the Formula 2 or its follow-ups for air transportation as a service. Number 4. Alia by Beta Technologies Beta Technologies is headquartered in Burlington, Vermont, and was founded in 2017 by a lead engineer and test pilot, Kyle Clark. Alia takes inspiration from the Arctic Tern, Terns are one of the most aerodynamically efficient migratory birds in the world. Alia can carry up to six people or three standard cargo pallets totaling 1,400 pounds via a piloted system. Its first use will be for cargo and medical and government applications. The six-seater will fly 170 miles per hour with a range of 287 miles. It will have a 50-minute recharge time. The company's first goal is safety. Alia is serviced by redundancy and simplicity of control and is an inherently stable aircraft. It has four fixed pitch propellers using eight motors for lift and a rear pusher prop for long range forward flight and centralized batteries. The company has applied hover flight and conventional flight separately and are now beginning to test the combination of the two. Beta's first customer and partner, United Therapeutics, will rely on Beta's aircraft to deliver organs for human transplantation. Recently, UPS announced it reserved the right to purchase 150 of Beta's aircraft, with the first 10 to be delivered beginning in 2024. Beta also just inked a deal to secure the first 20-passenger electric vertical aircraft for Blade. They have just received military airworthiness approval from the U.S. Air Force. Beyond ALEA, Beta has developed immersive flight simulators as well as a curriculum to train pilots on electric-powered aircraft to match an anticipated surge in demand. Number 3. Black Fly 3 by Opener In its current form, Opener was founded in 2014 by CEO and Chairman of the Board Marcus Lang. After retiring from selling his successful manufacturing business, his love of aeronautics inspired him to fly his own concept right out of his front yard, and the Black Fly was born. The Black Fly 3 has been improved upon from both version 1 and 2. It currently has a range of 25 miles with a 20% battery reserve and a speed of 62 miles per hour. It can charge to 80% in 25 minutes and carry someone who's up to 6 foot 6 and 200 pounds. It only weighs 343 pounds and uses fly-by-wire controls. It can land on grass, asphalt, snow, ice, and is considered amphibious. Black Fly 3 disassembles and fits in a small trailer and boasts a storage to sky in 30 minutes. Black Fly 3 is tried and tested with over 4,000 flights flown with payload. It makes safety a priority with redundant motors, elevons, and batteries, three fail safe flight systems, an isolated distributed battery system, and a ballistic parachute system. It adds to the ease of operation with software flight envelope protection, a return to home button, a demo flight feature, 
soft landing assist, gives real-time alerts and notifications, and has an intuitive joystick. No pilot's license is required to operate Blackfly ultralight vehicles. 25 Blackfly units will be sold in the fall of 2021, and there is no waiting list or price released as of yet. Number two, Maker by Archer Aviation. The Silicon Valley startup's headquarters are in Palo Alto, California, and was founded in 2018 by Brett Adcock and Adam Goldstein. Maker can carry up to four passengers and one pilot. It will mainly be used as an urban air mobility taxi service, whose service cost is about $3 to $4 per mile. The four-seater will fly 150 miles per hour with a range of 60 miles. For flights, they'll be using about 30% of the battery pack to allow for quicker charges and turnaround time between liftoffs, allowing them to do over 40 flights per day. They have zero single points of failure and feature redundant batteries and motors to preserve flight in any situation. It has six independent battery packs servicing 12 electric motors. It has a 270 degree view thanks to its wraparound window where you can immerse yourself in total comfort. A big concern of many is the sound of the aircraft. Well, the maker really shines here with a stated 45 decibels. Now for context, a normal conversation or background music is 60 decibels. A look at their company roadmap shows that the first flight will take place in 2021. And from 21 to 24, their focus will be on certification and manufacturing. And finally, in 2024, they hope to have city launches. Archer is backed by Stellantis, the parent company of Fiat Chrysler, Peugeot, and United Airlines. They will be going public via a SPAC with Atlas Crest Investment Corp at a $3.8 billion valuation. United Airlines placed a $1 billion order for 200 Archer aircraft with the option to buy 100 more for $500 million in the future. Number one, Joby S4 by Joby Aviation. Joby Aviation is headquartered in Santa Cruz, California and was founded in 2009 by lead mechanical engineer and CEO, Joe Ben Bevert. The Joby S4 can carry four passengers and one pilot and is 100 times quieter than a conventional aircraft. It has six tilting propellers located on its fixed wing and its V-tail. Its main use will be as a taxi service. The four-seater will fly 200 miles per hour with a range of 150 miles. With more than 1,000 test flights behind them and a decade of development, they're looking ahead to breaking ground on their first large-scale manufacturing facility in 2021, certifying their aircraft in 2023, and starting commercial operations in 2024. By 2026, with an expected total rideshare fleet of 850 aircraft, the company plans to be conducting 40 flights per aircraft per day. To start, the company will produce 200 to 400 aircraft per year, with annual capacity eventually expanding into the thousands. The location for the Phase 1 plant site will be announced by the end of 2021, and Joby says it will go online sometime in 2023. Joby has raised $820 million to date and has teamed up with Toyota for manufacturing and engineering. They have also purchased Uber's Elevate. The company has recently gone public through a SPAC deal with reInvent Technology Partners, raising $1.6 billion under the ticker symbol Joby for a $6.6 .6 billion valuation. According to Joby, the S4 will cost $1.3 million with the potential to cut this in half in the future assuming that it flies seven hours a day, 12 hours in operations, and carry 2.3 passengers per trip. They predict that each aircraft will produce $2.2 million in revenue per year. The first four locations for service are Los Angeles, Miami, New York, and San Francisco. Did you like our list? Which one of these do you think was the best? Who do you think will win the EV tall race? Please let us know in the comments section below and please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Click one of these videos to watch more or click the notification button to be notified of our new videos. Thank you for watching.